This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris. Welcome to The Humble Bottle. Well, this is the final episode on the Wines of Spain series. And since we've explored some of the reds and some of the white wines of this wonderful country, I thought it would be fun to explore some of the sparkling wines that are made there. Now, looking back at our map of Spain, we've already um, investigated the Rioja wine region, which produced all those wonderful red Tempranillo wines. And then last time we visited the Rias Baixas wine region, where uh, the Albernillo whites were produced. And now we're going to be looking at the Penedas wine region, where all the wonderful Cava wines are produced. Now, cava is a Spanish sparkling wine that's made in the traditional method of the French sparkling wine champagne. Cava is named after the cellars in which the wine is produced. The first cava wine is said to have been made using the champagne method in Spain in 1872. And the gentleman who was experimenting was so happy with the wine he made that he ordered a cool cellar or a cava be dug in order to produce more of the sparkling wine. Well, in a few short years, his family introduced their first bottles of cava to the public. There are now hundreds of sparkling wine producers in this area south of Barcelona. The Cava region does have a DO classification, so we know that the quality is very strictly controlled. And this area has been producing all sorts of wines for over 1,500 years. As a matter of fact, 99% of the Cava wines produced are produced right here south of Barcelona. Now, as recently as 1991, some specifications were put in place to make sure that there was a consistent quality standard for cava wines. So now cava wines are labeled by the amount of sugar they contain. In fact, there are six official types. The first type is called Extra Brut. It has between zero to six grams of sugar per liter and it is the driest of the cava wines. Next comes Brut and this has between zero and 15 grams of sugar per liter and about half of all cavas today that are made are in fact Brut cavas. And then we go up to Extra Seco, Seco, Semi Seco, and Dolce, which is the sweetest of all cava wines with more than 50 grams of sugar per liter. So as you can see, there is a cava wine for just about everyone's taste. Whether you like the driest of the dry or the sweetest of the sweet, there's a cava wine for you. Now, cava wines are generally made with white grapes, but they also in small quantities make a rosé or what they call a rosada uh, cava wine. And basically what they've done there is they've taken the sparkling wine and they've added to it some still red wine. But whether it's a white cava or a rosada cava, They still have the strict controls to ensure the highest quality. So if you are buying a cava wine, you know that it was made in the cava region with the cava method. Well, as you can well imagine, cava makes a superb party wine and it is ready to drink when you buy it. One of the things you do want to remember is you want to serve this wine very, very cold, like between 46 and 48 degrees. You also want to make sure that you serve them in fluted champagne glasses. And the reason for that is you want the bubbles to last as long as possible. And when you serve them in a long flute, it takes the bubbles longer to travel up to break the surface. So that helps your wine stay bubbly longer. Now you're going to find that cava wines are very, very reasonably priced. So that means it's a very versatile wine. You can serve it as is, as an aperitif before dinner uh, with appetizers, or if you wanted to serve it after dinner with dessert, you could do that. Because it's so inexpensive, you could blend it with orange juice for mimosas at a brunch. That would be wonderful. 
It's also great to serve with tapas, with all kinds of seafood. Um, with Mexican dishes, it can be a really nice, refreshing counterpoint to the heat of the chilies and the peppers. And it's also delicious with a broad range of Asian cuisines like sushi, Chinese food, and even spicy Thai dishes. Well, you don't have to wait for a special occasion to bring out your sparkling wines. Cava is a wonderful everyday wine to share with your friends and family. For more information on this episode, go to our website and visit the Humble Bottle show notes. Also, if you have any questions or ideas for this show, send us an email. Thanks for watching. Cheers!